Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm here today to show you a fun card layout idea with one of our new bundles or suites that we have in the upcoming mini catalog. It's called the Country Floral Lane Suite. And I'm here to show you how cool these are. Look at these awesome colors and designs. Of course, it's for I love hearts. And look, on this side, they have just all the geometric shapes and hearts. I love it that you can also use some of these not for Valentine's Day if you want to because the hearts aren't in every single um, designer series paper. So it comes with the 12 by 12 and also these six by six like little gingham pack. And these are great for the actual bundle that we have, but also I could see them for Easter and many spring ideas. It also has these awesome sequins. Look at how many. And they really work with the balmy blue and the petal pink. And then you have the accent of the gold. And then we have a punch called the Country Bouquet Punch. And I love how it's got the heart, two hearts, and the leaves. And it's designed with the designer series paper in mind and the stamp set. So I'm going to bring that the stamp set that coordinates with it right here. And so you've got the two hearts and then the leaves. But you can also use those separately if you don't want to use the punch or just punch them out separately. But I'm going to turn it around and it coordinates with this awesome paper. See how you just slide it in and then you can punch it out in the mossy meadow and the mint macaron. So that I love the punch. And because it, this is a super sweet, we have two stamp sets that coordinate with it, the Country Bouquet and the Love For You. Now you're like, oh my goodness, just for Valentine's Day. No, Happy Valentine's Day is one in this, but Happy Anniversary, congratulations. Thanks for all you do. And the same thing with this is friends, loving your friends, I just want to say. So it's not just for Valentine's Day. And here is the cool dies that go coordinate with this love for you. So with the flowers, you can go ahead and cut those out. So I'm going to use today, oh, I forgot one more thing, and the ribbon. I love the ribbon. It's so cool with the sweet sorbet is the color of the red that we're using. And this crumb cake, which is great with crumb cake with the red. So let me show you, I'm, I've already got my stamps done right here on the blocks. And if you notice, this is like a two-step stamping stamp. So we're gonna do one in mint macaron and one in sweet sorbet. Now I'm using a layout that can be used for the beginning stamper or the more avid. So let me show you what that layout is for this card that I'm gonna show you. So 11 by four and a quarter, is the card size and I'm going to fold it like this. Then we're going to just do put this on top of it and that's five and a quarter by four which is pretty much what we use all the time. But the next size is four and eleven sixteenths so it gives you an edge around a bigger edge and then the next size on top of that is four and a half by three and a quarter. And that just gives you a little bit so it makes it pop, the actual color. So let me show you what it looks like with the designer series paper. I've already cut some um, DSP for you in those measurements. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the bottom piece together, fold this over, and it's a, you can make this go from the side or the top of your card each either way. I'm gonna go ahead and use it for the top. So it opens like this. I love the mint macaron on this design. I love checks anyway, but I love that they're on the diagonal. I think that that gives the design. So you have the sweet sorbet just a little bit. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put these two together already. I'm gonna stamp on the basic white 
with the mint macaron and the sweet sorbet. So let me show you how I do that with this stamp set. It's super easy because it's designed to fit inside each other. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this up to the top because I wanna put a bow right here in a saying. So there's the mint macaron. And then this is designed with the sweet sorbet to fit right in that heart. Love these colors together. I mean, if you go ahead and use just the colors that are in the designer series paper, when you're coming up with a card, you have no problem with the design of how it looks after you're done stamping. So I line these up and then I press down. Awesome. I love how that, look how it's light and dark. It gives that distinctive look in the stamp. Now we're going to go ahead and use Happy Valentine's Day because that is just right around the corner. All right. And I'm going to, what I can go ahead and do is tie a knot right here, but I'm going to go ahead and show you and pop this up, one that's already done. Okay, super easy and simple. This is a soft succulent ribbon, but it actually takes on the mint macaron color. So love that. This is another beginner card also, kind of the same layout as what we've used and just went ahead and did the different pads to be able to get that look. Now, if you notice, that's the same layout as this punch. I didn't use the punch this time, but you can use the punch to pop it out and to make it just a step up. So the next one is a step up. I went ahead and did it on the side, same layout, but I punched up this little heart right there from the punch. So just like that there are so many options with this stamp set. Now these two cards that I'm going to show you are done with the love for you and the dies. Now I love how you can go ahead and stamp the for you because it's right there. And then I went ahead and used the dies that cut it out. But the DSP is amazing in these two and I love, I love them both together, but you can just get the 12 by 12, but the, the six by six works awesome too. Here's one more stepped up version. I went ahead and used the skinny part of the white and then went ahead and did balmy blue and it really pops up that fun little so much love. Hope you've enjoyed this floral lane suite and the card layout which you can use for simple stamping or you can use it for avid and hope to see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.